Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Hello everybody, welcome. This is Nilnar, and today we're in Liza P. Yeah, this is a Souls-like game where you play as a Pinocchio. Uh, interesting motif. But yeah, we play as Pinocchio and we uh, have fun. So let's, let's try this out, see if it's any good, see if we enjoy it. Okay, I didn't know I was lost. It, I love this uh, boxcar view. It, it looks really, really good. Um, actually, yeah, everything's set right on the settings there. Getting good uh, stats all the way around, so that's good. Um, so, looks like we have a couple different options there. I haven't, it doesn't tell me what they actually do. And we got a punch with our, our steel arm. Kind of cool. So, yeah, let me know if you like this in comments. If you played this one before, that would that really help me out. Let me know if you want to see more of this as we go through it. And let's see what we have here. And yes, it is playing with a controller. I see we got Jiminy too, but we have to hurry. My name Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Okay, we have a lamp. I sorry, I didn't mean to hit through that, but we have an upper belt and a lower belt, and use the item on the belt. Um, equip items and gestures in the belt. Hold down to activate an extra bag. Whip items and gestures, gestures into that extra bag. So there's our extra bag. Now we got a lamp on us. See if there's anything else here before we go out. Nope. Didn't think there was, but won't go too far back. But yeah, I'm playing with controller. That's what it recommends. So that's what we're going to play Let's with. Out of there. Find something that might help. And of course, this is going to be a little slow at the beginning for a tutorial. Nice to see they have a tutorial and get you uh, used to everything. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Path of the Cricket. It's a balanced one. Sword and looks like some form of bow, maybe. Um, Path of the Bastard. Uh, dexterity. And Path of the Sweeper. And this is a strength build. I'm going to do a balance build for this playthrough. Oh, we can actually look at stats on it, too, so... The strength build has the highest damage, but lower hit points, it looks like. This one has higher hit points and technique. This one's more balanced. So yeah, I think I'll stay with the balance to start out with. Destination Hotel Court. Recommend escaping from this location. Okay. Use the muscles. Hey. Ah, uh, interesting. Track B and C. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's safe around out here, but somehow it was stored in a car. I am locked on. Right button. And then we got a special attack. 
uh, your heavy attack. We got a Fable Catalyst. Does kind of walk us. Kind of locks us into a path. I don't know if it'll stay in that pass path. Okay, Paul cells recover HP. There's a maximum number of times it can be used. Once you use it all, it will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the char cells discharge, it will gradually recharge. So basically, you heal with it, and then it will recharge when you attack other people. Okay. I mean to use it, but hey. No matter which game controls I'm using. So you can punch with your arm. Oh, can't go through there. Not yet. There's okay, something big over there, too, where it sounds. We might come back for this. Still charged. Okay. Just double checking. Mirrors up that way and a door that way. Let's say open. Yeah, it does. Before we go that way, I want to see what's over this way. Okay, you can guard by blocking. Cool. When you guard re regain, you can attack enemies to recover health points. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. And that gives you ability to stagger your enemy, basically. So let's see if we can try that. I wasn't a perfect guard, but hey. Before we go all the way up that way, I'll check and see what's down here. Fable Catalyst. Something big over there we're going to run into. No run yet that I've been able to see. Okay, B is run. We're fatal. I'm not an enemy hit the R button. Nice. I like that. Now there's something down there making noise. It's just a guard of some type. And her bag. And got stuff from my order purchase when I ordered it. So hit points. This repairs rep and durability. Okay. Increased brightness upon use. And last report immediately scared to death upon use. Okay. Fable charge. Supplement pub abilities. Rapidly charges fable. Okay. We'll probably learn about more of this. Our normal weapons. 
And we got a special weapon here. 128 does hit harder. We could try it. Pencil parts, converter. Okay, a lot of stuff to learn about. Here's our armor. Doesn't really tell you. There we go. None of these really make a difference, it's just apparel. I like that one. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I like any of those. Okay, well, we'll put those on. Supposedly it might help find illusions. We'll give it a try. Anything else I want to put? Let's put that in one of the extra bags. Just to see what it has. Okay. I haven't switched swords because I, I want to save that one. A passenger note. Huge puppet in the waiting room, okay. something in here we might as well grab it Pratt Central Station a lot of stuff being canceled in that trip okay run downstairs here I have a feeling we're gonna have to fight this guy down here so we'll get a shortcut here There we go. Talking about the. There we go. Base stagger, press the right button to perform a stagger on enemies. There we go. We got the key. And we got something else. Let's go over here and pick this up.
That increases our damage. So we'll definitely put that on. Cool, now we should be able to get out. I didn't try that door up there, but I have a feeling the door wouldn't have let me out without the key, so we got the key. Let's go ahead and fill back up. We're going to have to get that recharged at some point. Let's see what's happened to the world outside. Oh, uh, it's, it's a mess out here. Use Scar Gazer to fully recover hit points, stamina, as well as start recharge your pulse port cells. You will be revived at this point in case of death. So, okay. Basically, you're a uh, side of grace type of thing from Elden. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Public threshold exceeds danger estimates. Please reduce puzzle numbers or reset danger parameters. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lent my power to this stargazer for a moment... Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Okay. So we can level up here if we have enough points. We have Vitality, Vigor, so hit points and guard, regain, stamina, capacity, so what you can carry, motivation, which is your attack, technique, which is also attack, and advance, which is really your defenses and legion. We haven't really figured out what that is. So let's, uh, let's throw one into there. And let's do one into mo motivator or motivity. We'll level up. There we go. We can level up again here soon as we get some more. And we do have a storage that we can put stuff in. Uh, we can get that. So I'm wondering if there's a weight. Yeah, we got no, it's We can hold two out of 30 in our bag. That draws attention. Right now, I'm going to keep everything on me. We do have some more of these in storage. We'll leave that in storage for right now. Okay, so we leveled up. And now let's go clear some puppets. That one here, so we'll take it out. Dog puppet. Okay, good, good. Is there a map that says where we need to go? Don't see one. We can 
throw things long range if we have it in our belt, okay? And that would be, say I wanted to, uh, have up here in the upper bag, say these guys. I could throw those if I deem by hitting up until they're there, okay. I'm not going to throw anything yet, but good to know. I want to continue looting around here, see what else there is. Pretty, pretty simple basic combat at the moment. Use Fable Arts while Garden use Handle Fable Arts, okay? I'm going to save my Fable Arts until I need them. No use in the race them on just those guys. Okay, Pratt Edition, okay, some more, basically. Well, it looks like everything in the square here. Good. And what's back here before we go down? here. Marvelous Puppet Festival. I know I could sneak up on them. Surprising, there is no actual crouch. So you're just walking up on them without a crouch. And everything's a puppet. Like no, nothing but automatons everywhere, including yourself. Okay. I don't want to hit that button. I just wasted all those. I didn't mean to waste them. Didn't hit the A button, hit the Y button. Okay, we'll have to figure out how to get back there. raining and there's a fire going. Interesting. Yeah, okay, I get that perfect parry down. Okay. Go ahead and heal up just to be on the safe side. No, it's before I go that way, let's see, is this the right way? Or is it just a little destination Oh, optimal view for it? That's where we need to go, up there, huh? Okay. Go around this corner then and see what we see. You didn't have to get up on my account, you could have just stayed there. Oh. Well, kill me there if I'm not careful. Go up this way, loot everything before we go down that way. 
And this is why we come up here. The dog up ahead, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Pretty linear, straightforward. I don't like that. I'm hoping it maybe opens up a little bit more once we get to the hotel. What's over this way? So I thought I knew one of these would take us back to this on the fence line. Urgent repair tool. Nice. I learned that perfect uh, parry and I've not got that down yet. I have a feeling that's going to be crucial to learn how to do in the game. And it's a matter of figuring out the... Got a better heal and not worry about it. Pulse charge, parcel discharge, attack enemies. Okay. There we go, that'll help. Open up the shortcut here. I missed this whole section right here. Now I could go back here and heal up real quick. But how did I miss this? But yeah, I'm going to go back here and heal up real quick. And talk about the game. So it is a pretty linear. I saw some leveling up there to do. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward pass. There's a little bit of... You can go look around this corner and that. Um, but there's not like a huge amount of looking around. Now when you do rest, all everybody comes back. So do keep that in mind when you rest. But we have the shortcut now, so that won't be too bad. You don't have to fight a few along the way. Um... It's a good way to level up to, I guess. Same as most Soul games. Uh, the pack and parry. The parry I might have to take getting used to. And I may practice around with that here a little bit. The timing of it is when to do it is very small. I mean, he's got to be really overhand swinging or hand swinging when you go to parry. Um, I've not done it yet, so that's how tight it is. Uh, graphics is it's it's a dark realm. I don't know if there's a daylight we'll get to as we go along. Maybe in a different uh, scenario after we get to the hotel. Uh, the interesting with the weapon and guard being two different uh, power-ups, so you could actually mix and max, match weapons and guards. It looks like so, and we do have that other one that we need to go look at. So I can actually put a second weapon in. Ah. Now, how do you switch weapons? That'll be interesting to see. I'll have to see how you switch weapons. But it looks like you can have multiple sets of weapons together, so that'll be kind of cool to play with. Um, and like I said, it's first look. Uh, it looks like it could be interesting, but I think we're going to have to do at least another episode just to get a little bit farther and see what we see. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like button. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.